Well, Bank of America's Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Smith Barney, and UBS all stepping up their efforts to keep wealthy retail clients. A new study shows that full-service brokerages like these stand to lose $180 billion in assets this year. At the same time, independent advisors may gain $60 billion as wealthy investors leave their mainstream firms. Now, that study is by Cerulli Associates. Well, I'm joined now uh, by the CEO of one of those private advisors, Carl Wellner from Papa Marku. And Carl, uh, thanks so much for, uh, for stopping by the studio. Uh, these wealthy investors Investors. I mean, what are they most uh, concerned about? What, what is forcing them or what is triggering them to move to, to well, it's firms It's all about like yours? trust and it's about being taken care of. I think there was a survey recently that said that many investors are looking at changing advisors and the main reason was not lack of performance, it was lack of attention. <clears throat> so that's really one of the reasons. The trust, where does that, where does that mistrust, what, what does that stem from then? Well, it's uh, in the big banking institutions, there are shifts, people move around, you don't always have the same individual to deal with, so you prefer to go to a smaller firm a boutique sized firm where you really feel that your needs are catered to at all times. And Carl, your firm's been growing, right? You've been able to take advantage of that sentiment. We have indeed. We actually have new clients come in from larger institutions who have been frustrated and uh, we're hiring, which is uh, something pretty good in this environment. Can you give us some numbers on that? I mean, uh, you know, what kind of growth you've seen in the last uh, year or so? Well, we have seen certainly, uh, well, single digit growth, uh, growth so far since the market turmoil, uh, but our existing clients as well are putting new money into the marketplace. So. And, and question, if, if someone comes from Morgan Stanley and had a decent return but wants a little extra attention, in other words, maybe help with a second mortgage or uh, uh, planning the whole wealth spectrum or saying, you know, I want to get a check cut every month. I mean, is that the kind of thing that you guys do? It's a little more service oriented? We don't really, we oriented? focus mostly on the investment side, but we work with all the large institutions, so there is no problem for us to set up accounts, set up credit cards, et cetera, because we we uh, work and have custody with, with all the large institutions. And, and these guys, these are the, not just guys, but I'm sure men and women who are uh, who are with firms like yours, where are they putting their money these days, or are they just holding all their cash? You know, uh, they're staying invested. The the really wise, long-term, wealthy individual stays invested. We have very few people who, who went into cash, and they, they realize that the markets are volatile, and it will come back. So what we say to the clients, too, is stay invested at all times, be well diversified, and then take part of your portfolio and look at opportunities. And there are some very interesting opportunities out there now and will be going forward. So. Are there examples, though, of high net worth individuals who did get out of the market? Because we know there are a lot of individuals, any type of investor who was selling late last year, now they've watched stocks rally, 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 and they say, oh, man. Very sad stories do happen. People went into cash and then did not step in in March and did not take advantage of the ride. And it's very difficult to talk to those investors uh, without gloating and saying, I told you so. Uh, but that is the fact. Stay invested. But when, but when they have very little, when you say that they're invested uh, and very few are just are just holding cash, I mean, can you give us a number on that? I mean, uh, you know, how, or, or how much cash on average are they holding? Well, in our sort of model portfolio, we, we suggest 5% cash holdings but of course it, it all depends on the individuals and we don't often see all of their wealth we see a portion of it so we don't know if they may have cash elsewhere and uh, their cash needs may be for their business it has nothing to do with the ups and downs in the market you know six months ago people were just worried about return of capital but it sounds like you've been pretty consistently return on capital the whole way through I mean is that fair to yeah, we were down last year of course like everyone else but I think we were down less uh, than most because we were well diversified and we had some managers that generally generated positive returns last year in the commodity space, for instance. And uh, so uh, we've been riding through the storm, and, and now we have seen great upsides, as, as most have. Carl, very quickly, uh, when new investors come to you now with big holdings, but how much will they put with you? Will they put all of it with you, or are, is you the wish. sentiment different? Uh, it, it spans across the gamut. We have clients who give us their entire wealth and others where we know that we're just uh, one manager of several because they like to compare uh, ideas and, and uh, basically have a race between the managers without us knowing uh, who the others are, but they like different advisors. Okay, Carl, we're out of time, but thanks so much for Thank stopping you. by again. Uh, Carl Wallner, CEO of Papa Marku.